uh, again, Dick's name was identified. Um, so what I have on the rough agenda today is, I can certainly give you a background on you know, being identified, but the more interesting stuff is, uh, we wanted to talk briefly about drones, where that is today for you know, construction and ADC, and then uh, uh, talk briefly about IoT. Um, and sort of the framework I think I'm gonna use for both is sort of you know, what it is, why do it at all, and uh, you know, what is enabling and how it is. Um, so that's gonna be my approach. Um, I am purposely going to keep this to five minutes and keep this to 50,000 feet. Um, as we go through this, if you have questions, please raise your hand um, and we'll see if we can get them addressed. So, uh, actually even before that, Identify Technologies, uh, the really short version is uh, it's an end-to-end -end, um, drone and data service that we offer. Um, I don't want to get too much into the details of that. I mean, if you have questions about this specifically, we can talk after. Uh, but to kick off the framework, the framework for uh, drones, uh, as, Jeff, as Jeff was mentioning, um, it all started with photos and videos. Um, I think the more exciting uh, sort of the meteor applications in the last year or two years um, have all revolved around 3D modeling, survey, mapping, uh, data of sorts. Uh, and if you're going to be using a drone for these purposes, Roughly, the workflow you're going to go through is you've got to actually plan and capture uh, this raw data, typically in the form of photographs. You have to process this information, uh, whether it's you, somebody else, a service, a piece of software, it has to be done. Uh, and then, of course, you have to analyze and report on the information. Uh, so this is broadly the workflow that um, uh, needs to be put together. And again, keeping to the theme of 50,000 foot, I actually have a 90 second video I wanted to show um, that puts a visual behind everything that I'm talking about. This scale leaked out for fairly large, but small. we know how much each truck can hold. There's lots of variability in that number because uh, the rock strata may change or the dirt or, you know, depending on what type of material you're hauling. We started looking at new technology for this process, mostly due to speed and, and accuracy. The uh, LiDAR surveys we've used in the past, they are typically very expensive and that takes a lot of time to get those done. A particular LiDAR survey may take up to a month to get the data results and we would like something more real time, a little quicker than that. Well, when compared to the new technologies, the drone flights report our data much quicker, uh, sometimes the very next day. So that gives us the flexibility to be able to track it more closely and monitor it uh, more efficiently. It allows us to make adjustments in real time instead of being a month or two down the road or if not further. Working with identified technologies has been very successful. Our experience so far with the four prop system is that it's got a relatively quick process and it's in and out. The accuracy and timeliness of the data has, have proved to be very good and they seem to be on the leading edge of everything we've seen. We've made the right choice so far. So that's, you know, that's drone. 
drones at the 50,000 foot view. Um, the second half of today is talking about IoT. Um, for those not familiar, IoT stands for Internet of Things. It's remarkably simple. You put a sensor up to the internet and we can call it IoT. Um, in most cases, at least that I've worked uh, with uh, in the construction and AC world, when we say IoT, we typically think of hooking up equipment uh, to the internet. Um, and so, uh, sort of the what, again, sensors hooked up to the internet, equipment hooked up to the internet. Um, the why, IoT, I mean, it's very powerful to understand things like uh, how your hall characteristics look day of, hour of. Um, very powerful to understand things like the hall room is thawing out by noon and my halls are slowing down and I'm losing on production because of that. Um, so of course, again, data is everything, data now is everything, um, and you can't improve what you don't measure. So that's sort of the why of IoT and sensors, and uh, to talk about uh, sort of what's enabled it, uh, again, it's been a big concept in the last uh, two to four, two to five years. Um, probably the single biggest one, I would say, other than the actual internet itself, is uh, this concept of machine learning. Um, and it's powerful because if I've got 10 pieces of heavy machinery spinning out, you know, pages and gobs of data every day, uh, it's not very useful to me as an end user. Um, what is useful to me as an end user is when the computer learns, the software learns, and tell me, tells me when something's different or when something's wrong. Uh, machine learning has been this concept that's become a lot more popular over the last uh, so as promised, very quick, 50,000 foot level, drones, IoT, questions? <laughs> 